Now, I'm gonna call this a minimalist guy. Hey y'all, hey, welcome back to my channel. I am Savannah, a stay-at-home mom of a toddler um, currently living abroad in Doha, Qatar. This video is all about what I have in my daughter's uh, Easter basket for this year. Now, my daughter Nuri is almost two years old, which is crazy. Today is March the 6th, and she will be two on March 17th. So by the time she'll be a two-year-old by the time Easter rolls around. I also that I've been simplifying my life the last year. And I use the term minimalism because I feel like if I were to fit in a box, that is where I'm headed. Um, I'm just learning that the less stuff I have is the less stuff I have to clean up <laughs> um, when I talk about like tangible things. But also it's a lot of like mindset and perspective um, evolving that I've done as well. But that's for another day, another video. Today is all about what is in my two-year-old's Easter basket um, as a person who is trying to limit clutter. And actually, this cart back here is actually all of the toys that she has with the exception of she has like one small Ikea bin of animals, which is right in front of me. And then she has like one of the large tubs of Legos. But other than that, those are her toys. We spend a lot of time outside. But anyway, let's jump right into the video. What is in Nuri's Easter basket? I did not buy a new basket. She actually stores her stuffed animals in here. So this is what I'll be putting all of her Easter goods in. So let's get into it. I got her this super, super, super cute little dress from Zara. She's gonna love it because she's really in this dress era right now where she puts her dress on and then she gets in the mirror and she like spins around and she's like, so cute, so cute. So I thought this is super adorable. And also very practical. Uh, and also, if you watch any of my vlogs, she goes to a weekly swim class, and then also we live in a really hot climate, and we actually have a beach kind of in our backyard. I know that sounds crazy. So she also has this super, super cute swimsuit. Came with this headband as well. Okay, I have a couple things that have not arrived yet. As I said, I do live in Doha, Qatar. There are some things that I can't find as easily here, so I may order them from Amazon. One of which is I ordered her a knife set and I'll insert a picture here of it. So if you watch any of my shorts or some of my other videos, you see that Nuri is very, very involved in the kitchen. Like she loves to cook. So I bought her this, I think it's four pieces. And then it's like a, a slicer. Right now she just uses like her toddler fork that came with her set, um, her cutlery set, and it is working fine, but I want to just continue to develop those uh, skills because again, she loves cooking so much. So I bought her this nylon knife set. Also really into puzzles right now. This is her favorite puzzle. And it actually has these with the little knobs. Um, and I actually bought this one locally, but I went back to the same store uh, yesterday and they didn't have any more that I liked uh, so I actually ordered her one with shapes and then I also ordered her one with fruit which is the same style um, that she again she really enjoys this she will play with this multiple times throughout the day um, self-initiated like this is something that she's totally into so I ordered her two more wooden puzzles we're kind of on the go a lot but the other two things are kind of like for on the go, but she loves stickers right now. So these little puffy stickers, they were very, very inexpensive and it's a variety um, for her to choose from. She like puts them on everything. She puts them in her stroller, she puts them on tables, paper, anywhere. So I got these. And then also she really loves building. And there's so many different skills that um, she's learning, but these little snowflakes, and these just came from our local dollar store and they just kind of snap like this. It's also just something really easy that I can just throw in the diaper bag. 
when we're out and about that she can play with that she will engage in because it's something that she's interested in and see i'm over here playing with them <laughs> um but yeah so these little builders i'll bake a treat probably the day before easter maybe like some strawberry muffins or uh, some chocolate chip muffins and put some um, pastel colors in it and then i'll just bake them and probably just uh, put it in a plastic bag and something like this and also include that um, as a little treat for her and then i also ordered her this book she loves reading now of course this book actually will be more of a read aloud for she and i to do together um, and I thought about just buying the actual physical copy, but having it digital in our Kindle means that it's always accessible. Whereas if it's, we actually have the book, we may not always have it if we're out in the go, if we're at the park. Because one thing that she really likes to do sometimes when we're like out at the park or bouncing or something, she likes to just lay on the ground and relax. And so I got this book um, and I'll, uh, you can't see it, but I'll insert a clip of it here. But the title is Slow Down and Be Here Now. It's more nature stories to make you stop, look, and be amazed by the tiniest things. And basically the synopsis just says, 20 stories with the beautiful full color illustrations inspire children to slow down and take a look at the world around them. Zoom in to observe a hummingbird drinking nectar or a pea shoot up here. Delight in a small snail as he comes out to drink. Charming texts paired with real science invite you to observe nature up close. Let it stop you in your tracks so that you can truly find joy in the present moment. Each story features a tiny nature moment to treasure with facts and figures on animals, plants, weather, and more, making this the perfect book for young nature lovers. So I'll include a link for this um, in the description box, but I'm actually really excited to dive into this book myself as well. So I'm extremely excited. Uh, and then the last thing that I also don't have yet, but there's a reason. So I'm going to get her, like we have a little balcony garden. I'm going to also get her sunflower seeds. Now, historically, I've just planted like normal sunflower seeds that I soak over um, overnight, which will be the same thing that I'll do for her. So um, we have sunflower seeds in the pantry. So as it gets closer to Easter, I'll go ahead and just soak some maybe like a day or two before. And then I'll just put some in a little envelope and put them in her basket so that we can plant them. Y'all. Yeah. If you have not planted sunflower seeds, you are missing out. Like the beauty of sunflowers when they are growing. Y'all, it's no way that you can be growing sunflowers and not smile every time you look outside. Trust me, plant some sunflower seeds. I mean, you can of course buy some sunflower seeds or you can just try planting normal sunflower seeds, which is what I do. Um, so I'll do that and then I'll also get her like one or two little small transplants that will just I'll go to the local uh, farmers market and just kind of see what they have then I'll just get two little transplant plants so that she can actually plant those and you know take care of those throughout the months following until it starts bearing uh, food so the final thing that is in Nuri's Easter basket are these 4d animal flashcards as I said she loves animals she loves nature she loves insects these cards actually have there's like an insect deck there's animal deck there's ocean animals it's such a variety look at this little cute grasshopper and so basically there's a free app and you can download um the app and then you scan the card and it gives you the picture and like a 4d image that you can interact with and what's amazingly cool is it it's basically an encyclopedia so it also gives you facts about the animals and in multiple languages which is also really important um as obviously i'm raising her in a different country right now we're american but i'm raising her in a place where arabic is the predominant language and I'm not as fluent as I would like to be, um, but I want to start to encourage her to learn the language more. So I'll be able to also expose her to the, the different animals also in Arabic as well. So these are really cool and I know that she's gonna be excited. So let me show you how they work.
it's really cool. You can like zoom in and zoom out. Can you really look at the features, I think. Can you also take a picture with it? <laughs> so that's it for what's in my daughter's Easter basket for this year. Uh, I hope that it gives you some ideas of what to put in your child's Easter basket. If you have any questions, just put them in the comments. If you can relate to anything, I'll try to put links in the description as well to most of what I um, have shown. So thank you for watching and I look forward to seeing you in another video.